Okay, half of me is being boiled alive, half of me is freezing to death, and there's just a little bit of sweet spot. Yeah, that's toasty. Oh, that feels nice. picking up and I am soaked to the bone. I think I might head back. I am soaking wet and very cold. My hot, look at that. Forgot to bring a fork so I made some chopsticks. That is smelling like it's ready. Yeah. Smells good. Oh, that sweet potato is so good. Hey, all right, Shalom, Shalom, I'm gonna give all praise to God and glory to Yahweh. Bah Shemi Hawashai. Bah Shemu Karkadash. I'm gonna say double honors and give double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders of Great Millstone for teaching his word and the teaching sincerity is. and for ruling well. And salutations to the elect, bow well and with some of those men. All right. Hey, I'm the brother Gabar Yahawada from JMS Hawaii. Coming to you with another quick lesson, real quick, straight to the point. You know, this is an example of Esau, you know, being a man of the field, you know, being a, a hunter. You know, that's what he likes to do. You know, he likes to play in the wilderness. I'm gonna turn you know, mind you, thing we live be. in a world where, you know, Jake's so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, like, we barely get the chance to do something like this. I've never done something like this. I think outside of the army, even that was a controlled environment. But Esau, he gets to go around the world, play in the snow, play in the field. Well, obviously, because it, well, this, the earth is in his power now. And this is his kingdom, you know? And this is, you know, the field is Esau's natural habitat. This over here is just warm. You can see all the steam coming out. You know what I'm saying? Being in the field is Esau's natural habitat. You know, and I just wanted to bring that out because it shows you that this man is who the Lord and who the scripture says he is, which is the scripture of the Lord. There you go. Breaking yeah. the main rule of big boy survival. Yeah, the, scripture, the scriptures are the, the, the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmi Hawasha. You know, and, and it tells you who Esau is. You know, you got some people claiming that Esau is the, the Arabs. Esau don't exist no more according to uh, vocab alone, but look at this man, bro. Look at this man. But it's a pretty wretched way to get pain relief. Yeah, this man's a, he's a man of the field. Breaking the main rule of big... Yeah, he's a man of the field, man. And this guy's whole channel was dedicated to the outdoors, called the Outdoor Boys. So real quick, I got one precept, and this is uh, Genesis 25 and 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Right? And the NLT it says, and the boys grew up. Esau became a skillful hunter. He was an outdoorsman. But Jacob had a quite quiet temperament, preferring to stay at home. And that's Jake. You know, you, you let Jake stay at home, Boy, you so let I'm... Jake stay at the crib, relax with some Ya Young, and you know, something to do. His woman, you know, he's relaxing or 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 or, or praying to the Lord, man. Meditating in the Lord. Esau, he he gotta be outside. He gotta be out in the out in the field, man. Cause that's what he does. And it's in his nature. It's in his nature to want to climb uh cliffs and mountains and shit. It's in his nature to want to get out. Man, I'm I'm not saying that, you know, Jake don't like to be outdoors. We love the things that Yahweh Bashim Shah created. But this is like natural to Esau and us being as Israelite men. If we have the option to choose to go hang out in the woods and hunt and, and, and do all of those things, Jake gonna choose to stay in the crib. You know what I'm saying? Jake, stay at the spot. You know, so this is just an example of that. Esau is a man of the field. With that one, so Shalom, I'm on to the next.